Yeah, it was really interesting to read in your book that just 3% of the world's energy is from solar and wind, and most of that is electricity. Uh, let's touch on Bitcoin before we wrap up, because Bitcoin is always wrapped up in energy FUD. So I don't know, give us your thoughts. Can Bitcoin actually help alleviate some of these energy issues that we're facing on, the, on a global level? I mean, the main point, as I discussed Bitcoin primarily in chapter five of Fossil Future, which, which talks in part about uh, the need for more energy in the world. So the way I think of Bitcoin primarily is this is an attempt to create a massive value and creating massive value involves energy. And so people should be proud of using energy to create value. If the Bitcoin community is right that proof of work is crucial to having a truly secure and free currency, then the, the main point is that it is good to use energy for that, just like it's good to have energy to run a hospital, just like it's good to use energy to enjoy yourself. So the primary thing should be we're doing something good and doing good things takes energy and we're proud of that. Now, in terms of how can it, I think there are certain interesting applications, particularly things like flare, you know, gas, you might all otherwise what they call flare, you know, you could use to produce Bitcoin. There's some interesting applications, but I, I also think that some Bitcoiners vastly exaggerate how much sense Bitcoin makes for solar and wind. Uh, some people think like, oh, solar and wind are unreliable, but it's totally fine because we'll just use them to make Bitcoin whenever they're working, but you still have to pay for all the infrastructure when they're not working. So people don't usually do this. It's similar with hydrogen, by the way. They're like, oh, we'll just make it with solar and wind, but do you really want your electrolyzer not to be used over a third of the time? So I would just caution people against making these opportunistic, dubious arguments that Bitcoin is going to somehow rescue all solar and wind and get to the core, which is Bitcoin is trying to by using energy. And that's fundamentally a good thing.